All right. Um, this question comes from one of my actual students, not like a random Redditor, which they usually come from. And I recorded the whole thing, which is why there's writing here. Um, but I recorded it with a different screen in OBS. I was like looking at a different window instead of Krita. So here's my, I'm just gonna re-record without drawing the whole thing over again. Um, so this question comes from openstacks.org. This is the Calculus uh, Volume 1 textbook by Gilbert Strang et al. And um, the question comes from Chapter 4, Section 3, Number 96. It says, actually that makes me, let me check that. Okay, no, that, that's right. I just, for whatever reason, I thought 4.3 was the related rates. But anyway, so this is asking us to, it says let m, uh, little m be a number of local minima and big M be the number of local maxima. Can you create a function where the number of local maxima is greater than the number of local minima plus two? So if you, however many local minima you have, you need three more than that to satisfy this condition, three or more than that to satisfy this condition of the maxima. Um, and so it's, it's a yes or no question. The answer is yes. Uh, and I kind of like thought out loud here for a second. So I was like, okay, let me try polynomials and see if this is gonna happen. And that's, that's what they're, you're so used to thinking of everything in terms of polynomials because that's the, what functions you've spent the most time with. Yeah, so I did linear, right? Degree one polynomial parabola degree two polynomial I can see they at most differ by by one uh, degree three polynomial uh, they're equal degree four polynomial they differ by one and that pattern will continue like the same number are possible to, at most to differ by one as you go up then I was like okay let me try to construct one so the the essential thing that you need to have in order to make this work is you need to have these um, points that are not in the domain here. You need to have it open below and open above. Okay, and you could have just had like a simple point removal or something there um, that would cause this, but um, this is clearly a local max, local max, local max, local max. So we've got four, and this is clearly a local min. This is a function, right? Passes the vertical vertical line test. We don't have any issues with there being, you know, parts of of the real number line not included in the domain. Doesn't say anything about that. Um, but why are these not local mins? How come none of these are local mins? And this is what I was saying before about you needed to be um, have these these intervals, these sub intervals of this function open. This has to be open here, right? And I, I examine this point in particular. Why is this undefined point not? Why is there just a little bit to the left of that? Why is there not a, a local minima? Well, the definition of a local minima is such that on this interval that I've constructed here, you need to have a value uh, f of something, right? Uh, f of uh, b, let's say, where, uh, let me finish the statement. So f of b less than all, less less than or equal to, I think maybe, I can't remember exactly, I can look it up, less than all f of x, where uh, b is, you know, on that neighborhood, this, this open interval right here. And that's not the case. You can't get it. If you think about it, the closer you get to B in the X direction, you're, you know, from the left, it, in the way I've drawn it here, it doesn't make sense to approach it from the right. You're not going to be able to get um, a minimum value. There's going to, the closer you get to B, there's always going to be a value less in the Y direction. Uh, I know that explanation will make sense to my student because they're very sharp um, and have already done a lot of work with this stuff. Um, so I think I'll leave it there. If anyone has any more questions, just post it in the comments and I'll try to get back to it and answer it.